All right, now we can have a little area, not a little area, a little street curving around back here. I thought I had a, uh, well, I might as well explain. Uh, I've been listening to an ambient playlist this whole time I've been recording this video. Or at least I thought it was an ambient playlist, but uh, it, some classic rock songs were coming on a minute ago, and now I've got Metallica. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My playlists are kind of messed up, I guess. Either that or uh, my music player is just playing... Uh, suggested tracks, which I thought I turned that setting off, but I recently reinstalled it, so I might have to do that again. Oh well. I don't mind listening to this. I, I actually just got into Metallica relatively recently, uh, and I've really been enjoying listening to them. I always kind of discounted uh, metal of any kind as not my thing, without really learning to appreciate it before, but and you know what, I've kind of been enjoying it. Alright. So I think that this setup will work quite smoothly. And it leaves plenty of space for trees between everything. Okay, so... Uh, you know what, I might as well... Uh, I think I'm going to leave the western side of town, as in beyond this gridded area, and the areas that are off of this road, uh, for another video. And for now I'm just going to focus on getting some of the, getting these areas that I've already made some good progress on working. So right here I think I want to have like my main city center plaza and a big park and some stuff like that. So I'm going to take a quick look at what I have available park-wise. This is going to be a pretty big park too, bigger than anything in Joinville or anything like that. I think that uh, Lakewood has a larger park than this 9x9 area, but uh, maybe not to be honest. Oh yeah, while I'm here at these signs, I really might as well put in some to warn people about the uh, curve on the highway down here. Uh, Alright, so it's a left curve, so this looks appropriate. And let's look for the right curve sign. It's further up, I think, if I remember right. Yep. Alright, yeah, so that should work just fine. People should have plenty of warning to turn their steering wheel now. Oh yeah, and while I'm doing infrastructure related stuff, I don't believe I ever placed the neighbor connecting pieces for this. So I will do that really quick. And yeah, that looks right. Okay, so back to the park. Let's scroll all the way down to those uh, BSC park pieces. Oh, I just installed some other parks recently too. I downloaded them quite a while back but not actually installed so. There you go. And over here I think that these are just those uh, Serenity Trail Parks all right here. Yeah, probably. I, I'll use those, get plenty of use out of those eventually but uh, for right here I don't think that uh, they're really necessarily the best fit. Yeah, I'm going to try to do a nice, uh, big BSC-style park, similar to what I did in the city center of Jamaica, if you remember that. And I think some of these might not really work with, uh... With, uh... What am I trying to think of? Oh yeah, with the uh, terrain texture pack that I'm using. But, uh, it's not the biggest issue. 
So I'm kind of feeling just have a nice big open grass area on those two sides. And then I can... Hmm, what does the crepe mural part look like again? Oh yeah, that's perfect there. So, hmm. Would that work? Oh yeah, that actually looks pretty cool right there. Uh, but you know what? I think it would look even better in the center, so that's what I'm going to do. And, hmm, so what would be most appropriate? You know, a big park like this definitely needs some parking lots. So I'm, these are pretty small, so I'm going to build several of them. Oof, actually that doesn't really work the cleanest. Uh, actually, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's just fine. Uh, or no, no, it's not. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, sorry for vacillating for a minute there. I wanted something that would connect to the, these crosswise paths here. So, you know what I'm going to do is probably use a pieing parking lot. Or a pieing. P-A-E-N-G. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce that guy's name. Maybe Pang? I don't know. He's a pretty decent uh, content creator on the uh, Symtropolis decks. And yeah, as you can see, I've recently installed a number of new things. Alright, so maybe... It would be appropriate to have a couple of big parking lots over on this side, kind of by the main road. Uh, I don't know, I think it works. And then the rest of the area will fill in with some of the smaller BSC park pieces. Some of these uh, blue blind paths right there. And probably just the grass only uh, thing right there. Okay, so if you ask me, I think that works swimmingly. It's not the best looking park ever, but hey, I think it's cute. Mm, so I'm probably going to want some civic buildings kind of lining the area around there. Uh, I Honestly, I might as well reserve a spot now for the J.B. Simeo post office, since I'm probably going to want to put that right there. Uh, maybe here would be better, honestly. I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Mm. So as far as commercial development, uh, I was thinking I'd probably want to completely line this avenue with it. Oof, it's going to be a lot of commercial though. You know what, there's going to be a bit of residential housing right there. Residential housing, yeah. Residential zoning would be a better term. Alright, and I'll probably use some kind of landmark ploppable commercial right there. Now this whole area I do definitely want covered with commercial buildings. Uh, maybe an apartment building or two to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that'll look great right there I think. Maybe a little bit of a larger commercial building for over here would make some sense. Uh, I wonder if the 4x4 four four will go alright. If not, I'll also have a 3x3, a a which will definitely work. Hmm. Maybe a 3x3 three three on that corner. And just a little bit of commercial... Oh, right. So, you know what? I think that is enough uh, commercial zones to pretty much provide for the whole city. 
And I'm actually going to create just another zone right there. And maybe a little bit right there. And probably some down here as well. Uh, uh, maybe like, like that. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. And whoop, I didn't mean to open my landmarks menu. I actually want to put in all these parking lots really quick. Yeah, perfect. That'll provide some parking for the commercial lots over there. And let me see if I can find something else nice to get some parking in this area. Alright, that is 2x3. I actually want 3x2. Maybe a 3 by 2 parking lot right there. Yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good, I think. And a couple 2 by 2s What are my options for 2 by 2 Is there just the one? Yeah, it looks like it. So I'll just use this. And I'll have it right on the corner across from the other parking lot, because that should look okay. And I think that'll be enough parking lots for now. Otherwise, people can just use street parking. Alright. Yeah, beautiful. So, I'm just trying to think really quickly. Uh, what I want to do as far as additional parks in the city. Because parks are good. Maybe I could just have a little entirely custom park. Maybe over around here? Uh, I don't know. I'm really going to need one down here though, so I think I'm going to just do that. Put a little walking trail uh, parallel to the road. Should be plenty. Put another crossing right there. Actually, I'm just going to have a T because I don't think I want to build an additional road. So, like that. Whoop, that didn't work. Alright. Uh, okay, so uh, my music player just switched to playing Highway to Hell, so <laughs> uh, it's definitely not playing anything for my playlist right now. Uh, I, I don't know, I might as well go with the flow for now. And I'll switch it up if it switches to something I really dislike in a minute. Yeah, let's have a nice grassy area for this park. And beautiful, beautiful. Mm. So I really should have some sort of park around here. Uh, maybe just something really small. For instance, like this. How does that look? That is not going to work, unfortunately. But it would if I put it over here. Yeah, that's perfect. So now the whole town should pretty much have good park access. Well, actually I might as well put a little something out here. Maybe by this intersection. Now, for certain, nobody's going to be complaining about lack of park access. So, next step, I think, is to place some cool looking landmarks. Now, I've actually downloaded uh, quite a number of new lots, so hopefully, I should find something 
uh, fairly new that won't look too out of place. Uh, uh, I think I'll have my dollar store somewhere around here. Uh, I'll place something else first. Oof. Okay, yeah, that's one of the new things I got. I downloaded a ton of service stations. Uh, so that should look right in place if I put it maybe... Uh, I don't know. It's, what do you guys think? Is this town to have big enough to have more than one service station? I think so. I, I don't think that's too ridiculous. I could put one down here, maybe. And uh, I'll see if I come across another, and I'll put that where it fits. Ooh, roughway freight forwarders. I always do like using this little industrial lot. I think it works pretty well for the kind of thing I'm going for in this town too. Or it's not as much of an industrial city as Joinville was, but you know, it's good to have some industrial activity. Keep the local economy moving. Let's see how well that fits. Ah, perfectly. That's what I like to see. I think I'll keep that. Even though it does look like it's not very flat around here, yeah, that might not be the best spot. Although I would like to have something industrial around that intersection. And now my music player switched me around to, you know. I'm not even sure I recognize who this is. Uh, okay, now it's playing The Wall. I don't know, I'm not complaining, I like the song, you know. But, it seems like kind of a strange combination. Okay, so, what I'm going to do around here is try to flatten things as much as I can. And it considers a fractional angle road to have intersections, so it's kind of difficult to flatten next to that, but I think I'll be able to manage. Okay, yeah, this works. So let's not waste time doing this the inefficient way. Damn, this is not cooperating, huh? What if I were to... Wow, what's going on over there? I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way because the avenue tool is kind of acting up. Now it's working fine, though. So, yeah, that street is also acting pretty weird. Let me see what I can do to fix up that slope a tiny bit. Okay, yeah, these slopes look okay, if you ask me. Hmm. So I'm going to place that rough wave freight borders right there. And it looks much better, much better. make sure the intersection is in the right place and perfect so what other landmarks should we place today now about hmm, really looking for commercial stuff more than anything crispy uh, cracker company though yeah Really can't say no to one to those guys. 
That sounds pretty tasty right now, a bunch of crackers. <laughs> no, whatever. I'm just being weird. Okay, yeah, that's a good fit right there, though. Acne cold storage, another lot I like, but one I tend to overuse. Mm. So there's got to be some stuff more toward the bottom around here. Ooh. Soccer stadium. This region is definitely going to need a couple of those uh, once it grows a bit more, but that's still quite a ways away before I get into projects like that. Oh yeah, I do also downloaded all these grid buster warehouses, which frankly, wonder how much use I could get out of those right now. Not too much, I don't think. Oh. Well. Those will come in handy, though. I have no doubt. Pretty soon. Maybe not that soon, but you know, for too long. So nice little motel. Sounds like just the thing that we could use right next to the freeway off ramps. Mm. Yeah, I might as well go right up to the edge right there. Right up to the edge of the land I've set aside for, uh, for what's it called, uh, oh yeah, for the exit interchange right there. Now over here, a little bit of a nice little chain restaurant might look not too out of place. Lick a chick. Uh, would it have road access? Oh, yes, it would. That's a good spot. Okay, so uh, I really don't want to go too crazy with the landmarks. I only want to place a few more. All the good stuff is really down here at the bottom of the menu now. Mm. Okay, that's enough of that. So, I do think I want to place one more little thing. LNH Electrical? That seems like the kind of thing I want there. Yeah, that works fine. Maybe Captain Snooze? Wonder what... Ah, oh, must be a mattress store, huh? That'll look fine right there. Okay, so I think that our industrial commercial strip is pretty much set for... Um, actually, I'm going to zone for a few more industrial uses around this road, though. Just because I can. And with that... Uh, hmm. Maybe just one more commercial zone, too. Nah. Even a small one? Yeah, yeah, I like that. So, pretty much the rest of this gridded area I want to devote to housing, so I'm going to try to take care of that uh, as expeditiously as I can. Yes, this is going to be a, or you know what, this looks like an optimal spot for a parking lot right here. I'll use that little 3x2. Perfect, perfect. And before I mess this whole area up with TE lots, I think I'm also going to take care of uh, this intersection really quick. These turning lanes uh, on the narrower road are going to be a little bit cramped, but uh, It'll work just fine. Uh, not if I keep placing the wrong puzzle pieces, though. I've got to be careful, because that is already a TE lot right next door. Alright, so A1. A1. Whoop, that's wrong. That's right, though. A blank. And is that it? No. Yeah, that's it. So I'll get the intersection in first. Yep, that's correct. Whew. 
Wait a minute, that's wrong. Yeah, I want the type A blank right there. Nope. Type A blank one though. And all right, perfect. I was really worried I was going to end up uh, causing a crash there, but it looks like I was pretty much set. Wow. You know, this is awfully ugly. I'm going to need to do a little bit of modification here, uh, but I can't. Never mind. Okay. Whatever. It's okay to not have main roads be totally flat. If that was a requirement in real life, a lot of major cities wouldn't have any wide roads. Okay, so let's deal with uh, the residential zones facing these crossroads first. That looks right. Yep, this is some pretty dense housing around here, but I don't think anybody will complain. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Yep. Here, over here though, I want all of the zones to face the park. That looks right. Perfect. I like that. Ooh, it just occurred to me I haven't built any bus stops yet. Might be tough to find uh, space for some of those, but... Uh, I think I'll somehow find a way. Hmm, might as well have some larger zones in some spots in this town. Okay. Over here too. This would be an ideal spot for a mansion or two to pop up. Same on this side. Okay. Looks very nice. do with this area. I guess I'll save it for what I'm figuring out this spot and this spot in the next video focusing on this town. For now I'll just leave some of these spots unzoned. I'm gonna put it into housing pretty densely though around here. Uh, just because why not? Yeah, apologies if uh, all this zoning is boring to any of you guys. Uh, I guess I would suggest uh, just uh, uh, if you take your cursor and you put it down the bar that shows you the progress through the video, uh, it'll give you a little preview of uh, what appears on the screen at a certain time. So if this stuff is boring you, just do that. Uh, look for a spot where I'm doing something besides zoning and just skip ahead. Because, uh, yeah, no reason to watch something that bores you. Okay, I think this is working pretty well. 
Huh, maybe just a tiny house right there would look pretty cool. And another small one there. Alright, yeah, yeah. So, hmm. Oh yeah, there's a little bit more area of grid to fill in over here. Again, I'm just going to go for density. Whoops. Beautiful. Maybe just a little house right there. Some that back onto that dirt farm road. That'd be pretty noisy in real life with the volume of trucks that are likely to be using it. Alright. Very nearly done for now. get that area filled in and now to focus on or well first off I want to get uh, this road fronted with zones and some larger zones right here maybe just one over there and another right there just to fill in the sidewalk Okay, looks good. Yeah, so now for the southern side of the highway. Mm, yeah, this is going to be a little bit more tricky to zone, I think, but there's a smaller area, so it should be over pretty fast. Again, I'm just going to go for density because, you know, this is kind of toward the middle of town, and as and uh, mid-century suburbs, even with uh, kind of uh, twisted up road networks like this frequently were constructed with that in mind. Alright. Whoops. That did not work out how I wanted it. My finger slipped on my keyboard just before I clicked. Alright. And we are looking pretty good so far. Yep, there's going to be some empty spots around here in the middle of blocks, but uh, that'll just be a good spot to just be good spots to have trees. Let's have some larger zones on these outer cul-de-sacs. Whoops. Not like that, though. Alright. It's only really one building that's going to be facing that street on that side of it. And, man. Some larger ones facing the park as well. Yeah, this works. Hmm. Okay, that works pretty smoothly. Hmm. Whoops. Here, I'm just going to redo that really quick. Yeah, that's how I wanted it. Here, uh, you know what? Let's 
just put on my music player just put on some 90s rock so I'm gonna pause the recording really quick so I can switch up what I'm listening to all right back to the electronica Mm. And hey, whatever you say about my music taste, at least I'm not forcing all of you guys to listen to dubstep in my videos. <laughs> Unlike a lot of SimCity 4 uh, video creators, or at least a few. Whoops, that's not right. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think that's about what we're trying to go for with this road. Uh, and... Yeah, I'm nearly done with this zoning part. It always takes quite a while, longer than I would think, to get zones in place. I haven't looked at the time uh, for the video anytime recently.